Uh, how are you? Uh, today we proceed with our known subject that is civic and moral education. So we started looking uh, uh, from chapter 1 up to the chapter 12. So on this subject, uh, 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 as we discussed the, on the first chapter, which I tried as much as I can to speak a little bit about uh, uh, this subject. So it tries uh, to prepare you so as to, to become someone who is who you have no several issues concerning with our issues which we are doing. So uh, we proceed with this chapter that is chapter 12. So this is a chapter 12 which we are going to discuss and this is uh, maintaining peace. So maintaining the peace. So as our, our normality as uh, in each chapter we have to discuss a lot or we have to read the introduction of each, each chapter so as to know this chapter talks about what. So maintaining peace, introduction of this chapter, in standard four you learned how to respect cultural differences and the people of different origins. In this chapter you will learn the importance of interacting with people of different origins and how to fight discrimination in order to maintain peace. You will also uh, learn how to respect uh, the right to life and uh, how dignity. Uh, additionally, you will learn how to, make, to tell all precautions against strangers. Besides, you will learn to respect people's views and establish friend, friendship, friendly relationships with other nations. So uh, this topic, I mean, you know, this uh, uh, chapter uh, focus more about the issue of peace or maintaining the peace. So how can we maintain the peace? So starting with uh, individual level, also uh, at the uh, any community uh, level or in the national level or all over the world at all. So uh, here uh, we have to, to look uh, on the meaning. We have to look, uh, uh, we have to read how issues are uh, or few issues. So what is peace? How do you ensure peace? So we have to think yourself what do we mean when we, uh, when we learn or when we hear a word, a peace? So what is peace? Also, how can we ensure this peace which you are talking about? So I uh, have to think yourself before starting reading as appear here. So Tanzania is proud of being a peaceful country. A, a peaceful country has security, therefore is no war. This situation results from solidarity, natural respect, and the brother, brotherly love among its citizens. So, uh, Tanzania is one among of nation. Uh, it is characterized by the issue of peace. That's why uh, uh, there are a lot of years whereby uh, most of Tanzanians uh, have not experience of the war. So if they live uh, peacefully or without any kind of war, we consider that Tanzania is one among of who, a nation which maintains its peace. So uh, also we have to start with uh, peacefully, co co peacefully coexistence. Peaceful co coexistence. So what does it mean? Peaceful co peaceful co 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 peaceful co peaceful coexistence coexistence peaceful coexistence is a state of li of living together peacefully in a, in a, in the same place and at the same time regardless of difference religious beliefs 
political ideology, sexy or social economic status uh, 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 look around your class. So when we're talking about peaceful coexistence, it simply means that refers to the or the situation whereby the people live peacefully without any discrimination or without any kind of uh, a result any some sort of being separatory so people they live together without considering either their political difference also uh, without considering their ideological difference also without considering their uh, without considering their gender uh, without considering their economic social and economic status that's why there are some areas where do experience uh, several wars so uh, among the factors which make them uh, to fail to maintain their peace is considering several issues as Tanzanians do not consider them so that is peace coexistence which we are talking here so we are living together without considering our difference without considering our differences so that differences which uh, 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 we are talking here is it can be a uh, sexy difference uh, economic social and economic difference and among others as I uh, was trying to read here or as appear here so that is peace of that is peace Co that is peace coexistence so uh, ask yourself so you can ask yourself are there are there pupils in different origins so you have to assume yourself if you are in the classroom you will meet with several pupils who have different sex who have who are coming from social and economic or who have difference in social and economic difference also who have different ideologies or different religious beliefs but they live or you have to ask yourself uh, do you live with them peaceful without considering these such uh, differences as uh, i was trying to mention so if you will if you will realize that there is no any a uh, uh, difference which is considered in the classroom or in your society you have to realize that you are your classroom or your society uh, maintains peace that's why they live without considering their difference so you may you may see a picture here uh, that try uh, to show uh, that try to show the uh, the issue of uh, peace or maintaining the peace also uh, after looking also you may ask you you can start or you can observe this picture so as to answer the questions that fall so there are several students here uh, in the classroom so uh, if they are these students or these pupils uh, have several differences the way they appear you can realize that these students or this picture or this figure uh, there are several uh, students or pupils who have a uh, difference who have a lot of differences the first one the first difference is a uh, uh, sex difference so these are young girls and the others are young boys so th that is one among of difference which you can observe uh, on this figure so after observing this figure you can ask or you can answer these questions by using that figure eh? that is what do you see in the picture so you have to to, to mention or to outline all things which you have observed on that picture also uh, have you ever lived with people in different origins so have you lived or worn with people who have different origin of you so maybe you are african so if you are african boy or you are an african or have you 
have you lived with a people who are coming from Europe? Who have different color from yours? So if we can realize that, you have to, 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 to answer this. Also, is it easy for you to cooperate with people who of different of different origins? Explain. So if you have uh, you have lived with such kind of people, you have to, to, to explain uh, uh, you have to explain uh, you, w w w where are you cooperating with them or not? So that is another issue which you have to answer by using this chap this chap this picture so also there is another issue that you can discuss yourself so it is important to recognize that in the community it is important to recognize that in the community we live with people of different origins we therefore need to respect our differences and discourage behavior that segregates other people so uh, in our society it can be at your classroom or at your home and among areas, we live with people who have different origins. So if we live with them in, in, in that manner, we have to live with them uh, without, without depicting any kind, of, uh, any kind of segregation. That's why if we do so, you can cause a, 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 a peaceful or peace to be out of that. That's why if we can try to import some, uh, by considering some differences which are around you, you can cause uh, 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 your you peace which you have uh, to be out of you. So that is another issue which you have uh, to consider. So also, uh, you can read here this story so as to answer several questions as appear here. Uh, the first one is, uh, what have you learned from daddy's behavior? So if you have read on that story, you can tell us or you can say a little bit or anything which uh, you have understood on that story. By, uh, uh, that's why on that story, you will meet with several uh, daddy's behavior. So if you have realized that, I think you can answer this question and other questions as it appear here. So, uh, Another issue in this chapter is uh, condemning, condemning segregation, condemning segregation. So what is condemning segregation? Uh, condemning segregation, to condemn sim something is to express strong disapprove of something because it is morally wrong. Segregation, se segregating others because of their race, religion, sex, or tribe needs to be strongly condemned. In, Tan in Tanzania, people do not segregate others on any grounds, grounds, be it religious, gender, or color. So here, condemning segregation, it simply means that you are trying to condemn any kind of segregation which will be observed so that is condemning by using different ways so if you will see any kind of segregation uh, any place which will be uh, you have to condemn it that means to uproot not allow to enter any kind of food or not uh, through uh, 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 denying any kind of segregation that can inter interact on your place or any, any, anywhere which you are. So that is condemning segregation. So in, in Tanzania, uh, there is no, Mwarim Judas Kambarage Nyerere was a key, uh, was a key figure and we continue to use him as he mobilized or he, he also emphasized the issue of segregation. And he also does not want or did not want people to, uh, uh, to segregate their uh, other people by considering their tribes, their religion, their sex, their color, and among others. So that is, he was another uh, person, or he is a, 
he is a he is important one who was on who was front line in the front line so as to fight or to condemn anything that uh, was considered to be uh, considered uh, to be uh, segre segregation so we may read this conversation so as to answer several questions that uh, appear here so if you have ready you can answer these questions also after that also after that there is another issue in this chapter that is socializing with people of different cultures so uh, in tanzania it is assumed that or oh, in tanzania there are 121 uh, 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 ethics or oh, tribes and a plus so if uh, we have several tribes in tanzania we have if you are a person who is coming from a certain tribe like Sukuma tribe or Makonde tribe and among others so you have to make sure that you will live you will cooperate with any person without considering his or her tribe so that is socializing with people of different culture also uh, uh, if we are we, um, the, in Tanzania there are several uh, uh, tribes which also have the different culture. So here, if you will meet with the people who have different culture from yours, so you have to cooperate with them. You have to socialize with, the, with them without considering any kind of political, I mean, uh, 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 different, different in culture. So that is socializing with them. To, so, to socialize with people is to meet and spend time with them in a friendly way in order to enjoy or learn something from, from others. So here, uh, this passage... Uh, Oh, this paragraph tries to show how can you socialize with see other people without considering uh, the, uh, the 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 difference the, or different in culture. That's why uh, if people are coming from different areas, they have only culture. So if we meet with them, we have to make sure that. You will not differentiate with them, you will not escape them because of their culture or because you have not uh, the same culture with them. So we have to, to, to make sure that we are trying to, to socialize with them. So there is a picture here. Uh, this, this is a figure also uh, which contains the first one, second one, third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one so those are the people the way they appear it show different it show cultural difference so everyone here tries to show his or her political i mean his or her culture so if we meet with such people like this you have to cooperate with them without considering their culture without considering the way they wear we have to cooperate with them so that show also how can we cooperate with them so even in your classroom uh, you have to make sure that uh, uh, or, uh, in your society uh, you should make sure that you live with any person eh? uh, any person uh, you have to make sure that you live with any person without considering his or her culture that he or she has not the same culture uh, we see yours so that is also appear in this chapter also uh, in this chapter uh, there is another conversation or dialogue here you can read as it was passing here uh, so as to answer these questions is the first question is uh, do you think the stranger did anything wrong so if you have if you have learned and understood i think you can answer these questions about a stranger is one among of uh, 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 people in this 
conversation so you will answer it so just try as much as you can uh, to read this conversation so as to answer these questions also uh, another issue uh, you can read this story also uh, so as to answer questions as you did on the first story so another issue is respecting cultural differences so also we are emphasizing to respect our cultural differences because people are not coming in the same area or in a common area people are coming from different areas so due to their social, economic, and cultural, social, economic, and political uh, 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 issues, uh, stimulate them to interact or to move from one place to another. So where people move, where people move from one place to another, they meet with people who have the cultural difference. So here we are emphasizing to respect the ex any, ex any existed cultural differences. So respecting cultural differences, respecting cultural differences is a very important in order to maintain peace without recognizing cultural diversities and, and perspectives. There can be no wrong lasting peace. In this section, you will learn about your culture and recognize the difference between your culture and that of others. So here, uh, this paragraph uh, tries to emphasize us that we are not, we have to respect the culture of others. We have to respect. That's why uh, if you will meet with people who have, uh, who have a different culture from yours, so that is another issue which you have to respect it. The difference between, uh, the different the difference between your cultures uh, will not allow you uh, 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 to, to segregate them. If you can segregate them, you can allow uh, 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 peace to be out of that. So you have to do so. Also, uh, thereafter, you can read this story. I uh, mean, a conversation. I mean, a poem, so as uh, to answer these questions, as it appear here: cultural differences within the community. Cultural differences within the community. Uh, you may have realized that there are different cultural cultures in the same community. Cultural differences are caused by customs and traditions. So here. Uh, you are living even at your community there are several cultures that's why people do differ from one person to another or from one family to another family or from one clan to another clan so due to their differences even if these people are coming from different or are coming from the same community also they have several differences in their culture because of their uh, 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 they are different in, in family background and among others so also we are emphasizing to realize that that's why people this can be caused by customs and traditions so we do also differ in case of customs and traditions so these are uh, these are examples which uh, can occur in our society so we have to make sure that uh, these differences does not uh, uh, does not divide us into several ethnics or into several groups we have to cooperate with them we have to cooperate with any person without considering uh, such kind of differences or experience or in a particular place so here there is customs and the practice Customs and the practice that change from one time to, an, to, to time. Tradition is a way of life that particular community has practiced over a long time of period. A long, of, over a long period. So when we're talking about uh, uh, when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about uh, tradition is a way of life. So these are the several ways in the life of a particular community which have been uh, 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 which have started to be practiced for a long time so the way days go on so the way these 
uh, actions or these things or these ways continue to be inherited from one generation to another generation. So that is uh, custom. I mean, that is tradition. People, people's behavior is influenced by customs and the traditions. So uh, we can know your behaviors by considering your customs or tradition. There are uh, desirable and undesirable customs and uh, traditions. So these customs and traditions uh, are divided into two groups. So there are a desirable one and a non-desirable one or undesirable ones. Undesirable ones. So when we're talking about uh, desirable customs and traditions, these are the customs and traditions which have positive impact to the society. And uh, the undesirable tradition and customs is vice versa to the desirable tradition and the customs. That's why they bring negative impact to the society or to the people. So we have to, to, to make analysis, uh, we have to make analysis of customs and traditions which bring positive impact are desirable ones and which bring negative impact are undesirable ones. So we have uh, to make sure about it. Customs also, uh, customs also uh, may change. Customs may change depending on needs and the perception of community in a particular time. So also customs may change from one time to another or from one uh, 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 person to another. So you can read this story so as to answer the questions that will fall. So uh, thereafter, I think it will enable you uh, to know or to answer several questions. Also, there is respecting freedom of residence. You have learned how to condemn segregation as we, we discussed the, uh, a few minutes ago so as to promote a freedom of residence. Freedom of residence is another aspect of maintaining peace. So freedom of residence is another aspect uh, of maintaining peace. Every citizen has the right to live anywhere in order to make a living without being discriminated of grounds of race, religion, tribe, or nationality. Therefore, the, the freedom exists in this community enable everyone, enables everyone to enjoy peace wherever they are. So here, uh, respecting freedom of residence. When I'm talking about uh, freedom of residence is uh, you, you are free to live in the society. So there is no anyone who, who, who can come and uh, interfere your residence or your lives. So that is uh, another issue which should be observed in the society. Haki ya kuishi. Kiswahili tunasema hivyo. Uh, also, uh, you can read this story so as to answer the questions that appear here at the end of each uh, story also you are, if you can understand it also you can answer those questions so also there is another issue that is international relations but this we are going to discuss on the last chapter that's why in last chapter uh, the, this have been talked a lot about it so you may see uh, there is an African here and he, I mean she is a red who is coming from uh, Europe, a white man, I mean a, a white woman. So uh, they try to cooperate one after another without considering their differences. So if they do so also they maintain the peace. They don't consider any kind of differences between themselves. That's why if they can do so, they can consider their differences between these two people, they can cause uh, to harm or to reduce or any kind of uh, insecurity can occur through considering those uh, we have, you have to answer these questions in this chapter. That's why I, I have discussed a lot 
about it. Thank you for listening to me. Welcome in another session. Thank you.